Hello viewers, welcome to the booktube. I am so excited to meet you all in another video. This channel is aimed for you more knowledge to the audience about their lessons, updates, trending and more. So that in this video I am going to show simple tips to use zoom like a pro. All those tips are applicable only for PC and laptops. Before that I have to explain about zoom meeting applications. Zoom is all the rage these days. It allows people to stay connected with their partners and employees while working and also with students while learning from home due to the COVID-19. So that nowadays we are using Zoom applications for the various purposes. However, some of them don't know how to operate it in advance. In this video, we will talk about the various tips and tricks you need to know about to take your Zoom game to the next level. Don't skip the video and don't miss the opportunity to perform like a pro. Let's get started. The very first one is turn off the camera or mic before a meeting. Do you want your mic or camera to be turned on or off by default when you join a meeting? This is something we recommend you set beforehand so you don't have to play around with the controls as soon as a meeting starts. This prevents any possible background noise coming from my end because of my neighbors moving their loads or cars passing by. Open the zoom up on your PC. Click the gear icon under your profile image called setting. Click the video option. Check the box to turn off my video when joining meetings. Then click the audio option. Check the box next to mute my microphone when joining a meeting. Now when you enter a meeting, your camera and mic will be muted by default. So you don't want to turn off the camera or mic all the time. Mute and unmute mic with the spacebar. When you are called on to speak, stop scrambling to click the microphone button. You can press and hold the spacebar to quickly mute and unmute your mic right from your keyboard. Open the zoom up, click the setting or gear icon, click the audio option, then check the box press and hold the space key to temporarily unmute yourself. Here my mic is muted. So when you press and hold the space bar, it will show the temporarily unmuted and the mic will be on and when you release the space bar, it will be mute again. The third one is use a virtual background. If you don't want your participants to see the inside of your apartment during a Zoom meeting, consider using a virtual background. But the future is perfect and works best if you have a green screen. You can select an image or video and set it as your background with just a few clicks. Click the gear icon under your profile image. Select virtual background option. Select an image or video. These are the default images and the videos. You can select and preview. Otherwise, click here to add your custom image or videos. The next one, make yourself prettier. Want to look your best for that important meeting? Zoom has you covered. The tool offers a feature called Touch Up My Appearance, which is basically a filter that smooth out your skin. It only takes a few clicks to get the job done. Click the gear icon, select the video option, 
check the box next to touch up my appearance. Here I have done before. It will direct your screen and filter as prettier automatically. The fifth one, share your screen. When giving a presentation with Zoom, you often have to share your screen so that Zoom application has the tool on the screen to share your file, videos, images and also the whiteboard screen for the presentation. When you are in meeting, click the share screen option in the taskbar. Select which way you are going to present, screen or whiteboard. If I select a screen, my desktop screen will be shared to the meeting so all participants can see my desktops. If I select a whiteboard screen, here I can draw and type on the board. So it will help you to make your presentation perfectly. The next one, only share a part of a screen. It's similar to earlier, but you can choose to only share a part of a screen, which provides you with a bit more privacy. It will help that the people in the meeting won't see the applications you have installed on your PC. To access this feature, click the share screen option in the taskbar, click the advanced step, then click the portion of the screen option and click share. Now you can adjust window on any part of a screen so participants cannot see beyond the window and also we can resize the window as you like. The next one Learn handy keyboard shortcuts. For those who don't like clicking around their screen, Zoom has several helpful keyboard shortcuts to help you navigate the applications on your desktop without using your mouse. Before that, you have to enable keyboard shortcuts to access the future. Click the gear icon under your profile image. Select keyboard shortcuts option. Here, you have lot of keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts for switch to gallery view, start or stop video, mute or unmute mic, etc. You can enable it by clicking it. For example, if you want to start or stop share screen without using mouse while you are meeting, just press Alt or plus S. Share screen window will be appear without using mouse. Next one, record a meeting to the computer. Both free and paid Zoom subscribers can record their meeting to their laptop or PC using the desktop applications. Those record files can be uploaded to a file storage service such as Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. When you are hosting a Zoom meeting, click the record icon on the taskbar. It will notify on the top left corner on the screen. These are the simple tips to use Zoom like a pro. Finally, I hope this video helped you to try those tips at your next meeting. By the way, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe to start a journey with us for free now. Thanks for watching and stay with us.